Hello Internet, coming here with a guide to Matthias. Matthias is considered one of the more harder raid bosses because of the intense amount of mechanics that are thrown at you. But don't worry, we'll cover them all and hopefully you'll come out with a bit more knowledge as to what's going on. One thing to note is this encounter doesn't require a tank, you will instead follow the player who is furthest away from him. Matthias has control over the elements in Salvation Pass. You will fight him in four phases. The Snowstorm phase, the Heat Wave phase, the Storm phase and finally an Abomination phase. Let's start with the Snowstorm phase. During the Snowstorm phase you will constantly be slowed down and receive ticks of chill. Additionally, icy patches will spawn. Walking into these will knock you down. You can remove the icy patches with any form of burning. One of the first attacks you'll encounter is Shards of Rage, where Matthias launches himself into the air and slams his staff down on the ground. This sends out a shockwave of bloodstone projectiles that deal a bit of damage, but also gives you a 10% damage increase buff. Now, one thing you want to be careful of is reflecting these projectiles back to Matthias like I did here, because this gives him the 10% buff, and in this case I gave him all of the projectiles, so he's going to completely annihilate the group. The best course of action is to simply dodge the attack. Just get used to the animation tell. Here it is slowed down. The next ability Matthias will do is an invulnerability shield. A single person will be targeted as denoted by a target above their head and he will fire a line of projectiles to this person. This person remains the target for the entire fight. Reflecting these projectiles will bust his bubble, but if you put down your reflect too soon like I did, some of the projectiles will make their way out and not get reflected and not remove all the stacks of his shield. Simply wait until his staff is level in the animation and firing projectiles, then put down your reflex. The next attack Matthias will perform is Oppressive Gaze. He spins his staff in place and fires a projectile. This goes through all the players who are in the way and deals 50% of their health and damage. So simply dodge it or walk to the side and avoid it. It will always be facing the direction of the person who has the target. Here is an example of just how much damage that skill does. Periodically a random player will be corrupted. This deals ticking damage to themselves and all people in the AoE, and you can remove it by going to a well on the outer edge of the arena. Once a well is used, you cannot use it again for roughly one and a half minutes. In the first 60% of the fight, players will be sacrificed. They join the enemy team and gain a break bar which you must break within 10 seconds or else they'll be instantly killed. If you are the one who is being sacrificed, you are in place, you cannot move, you cannot use any of your abilities, you just have to hope that your friends will bust you out. Remember, retarget and CC the player, not Matthias. Just for example's sake, this is what happens when you are sacrificed and not enough CC is done in a time. When Matthias' health reaches 80%, the phase changes to the heat wave phase. During this phase, you gain constant ticks of burning, and additionally, if you stop moving, you gain even more damage ticks. A couple of fire tornadoes also spawn and move around the arena. Just try and not get caught up in these, because they will whirl you around and you'll be out of action for a bit and take a little bit of damage. It's also worth mentioning that in this phase he doesn't do oppressive gaze, but instead you have these fire tornadoes to deal with. This phase also adds a mechanic called Well of the Profane. Every 10 seconds a player gets a poison marker above their head and takes constant ticks of damage. The player also gains a special action key which lets them drop the poison. This results in a large AoE circle of the poison, so take care to not drop it inside the middle of the fight. Also do not mistake this for corruption, you don't want the poison to be on top of any well. If you fail to drop the poison within 10 seconds, or if you go into down state, it will be dropped automatically. At 60% health he enters the stormy phase. 
players get time bombs, they are subject to downpour and a rain cloud spawns in the arena which travels in a clockwise rotation. Just try to avoid the rain cloud since it hurts a lot. As you move around in this phase you gain stacks of downpour. When you reach 10 stacks of downpour you will gain the unbalanced debuff. If you move whilst having the unbalanced debuff you will be knocked down. Here you can see I'm moving around quite a lot. I'm on 7 stacks, now 8 stacks, now 9 stacks and here's my 10th stack and because I'm continually moving I have the unbalanced debuff and if I move again I will be knocked down. In this phase 5 players also get the time bomb mechanic. The time bomb is an AoE that expands to demonstrate the time it takes for it to explode and the more people within the radius of the time bomb the more damage is taken. In this example you can see what happens when three people are in range of a time bomb. Because it's possible for players to be simultaneously knocked down and have the time bomb mechanic, it is advantageous to bring some kind of group wide stability. At 40% health Matthias enters the abomination phase. He does a fear and all 10 players get the time bomb mechanic. Additionally all of his existing mechanics are bigger and hit harder. You don't need to save any more sacrifices from this point on, and you don't need to use the wells nearly as often. The fear only happens at the start phase and it can be dodged. It's good if you can because you'll have the time bombs and you don't want to both be feared and running around with the time bomb or else you could end up blowing each other up with no control over your movement. Another thing to watch out for is just before the fear animation he can kick players who are in front of him, so try not to be in range of that. Following from that he will do Shards of Rage which has now been upgraded to scatter across all the arena. Try and dodge this if you can, if there's one skill that you want to dodge it would be this. He still does oppressive gaze and it hits like a truck, so do your best to try and avoid this as well. During the abomination phase you keep cycling between the snowstorm, the heat wave and the storm phase. So you still have to deal with the mechanics that those phases bring to you. The one more thing that gets added is that ghosts will travel through the center of the arena, travelling in a straight line from one side of the arena to the other. When Matthias is less than 20% health, two ghosts will spawn. If you are caught up in the ghost's AoE, you will take almost certainly fatal damage. The blood shield is the same as before, except that it's a bigger effect. Simply wait until he starts casting his animation before dropping your reflex. The abomination phase places quite a lot of pressure onto the players. A lot of the mechanics are designed to split the party apart to try and mitigate this as much as possible. Whenever you have the opportunity to restack and heal up, do so. The key things in this fight are to keep a cool head and react appropriately when you have poison or corruption. Additionally being quick to react when your friends are being sacrificed and hitting them with all your CC and restacking in the final phase should hopefully see you through to a successful Matthias clear. Good luck!